Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our shoulders. I was supposed to do shoulders and biceps together but there were time constraints so I decided to split it in a shoulder and a bicep workout individually. Now there has been a delay in my videos getting uploaded and me working out on a regular basis. That's because I was on a holiday. So apologies for that. But otherwise, we'll still keep going with our progress and our push. Now, to begin with, I'm going to start off with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions on each side. As usual, without fail, we need to spend those couple of minutes every day before our workout investing in some dynamic stretching. Maybe even 5 to 10 minutes. It's a good way to also warm up our body. Now, the greatest stretch has been quite effective for me. So, I always suggest this particular one for each and every individual I come across who is interested. Now you may choose other dynamic stretches also if you prefer to do so. Post completing my greatest stretch, I move into my deep squat, the mandatory deep squat for the day. It is always ideal to sit in a deep squat at least for a couple of minutes every day, ensuring complete hip mobility and also the effective stretch in your inner thighs in your calf muscles is quite helpful to ensure mobility throughout the day. Now to start off with, we are going to start with a superset, ray delt races with dumbbell and barbell. Four sets, 15 repetitions. We will take about 45 to 60 seconds break in between. So we'll start with dumbbell ray delt races. Simply lie on an inclined bench like you can see I am doing and start pushing the dumbbells behind your back, trying to feel those ray deltas, ray delts do the maximum amount of work. Now in this particular exercise, it's very difficult to go wrong. So you may choose to go a little bit heavier on the weight. Tuck your chin in to get most activation. Now after completing the dumbbell ray delt races, immediately shift to a barbell ray delt races, which we also have done previously. Just lean forward with the barbell behind your back palms facing up and start pushing the barbell into the air as if you're going to throw it up. Now this again will cause a lot of burning sensation in your red delt. Now I understand a superset for the same muscle can be quite challenging. So do take about 45 to 60 seconds break in between. There shouldn't be a break in between the dumbbell and barbell switch over. For my next exercise, I'm going to do the red delt flights. Now I wanted to do this particular exercise on the cable fly machine but unfortunately the machine was quite busy so I choose to do it on the ray delt fly equipment which I have at my disposal. A pretty easy exercise to do. Now the focus point should be is to only work our ray delts so you need not go completely forward or need not complete, uh, push your elbows way back activating your mid and up tra upper tra uh, trapezium. So just focus on your ray delt as you can see in the video how my ray delts were extremely activated. I kept the focus only in the moment or the range of moment where my ray delt was loaded. So I wasn't completely letting the bar go down or I wasn't pushing it too far behind. Now I have done three sets of these with 20 repetitions plus two drops. So basically after completing 20 repetitions in a set, I drop the weight at least twice first drop get as many repetitions as possible then drop again get as many repetitions as possible this would you might accumulate a close to 40 repetitions in each set in this particular manner now if you're not able to get those drop set take a five second break and get back to it just make sure that you have the maximum activation in your ray delts alone post completing my ray delt work i move on to my front and mid delt work wherein I start off with basic overhead press with a slightly supernated grip as you can see how my palms are facing slightly away from my face while holding the dumbbells close enough. I take an incline bench support myself on that here you can see at the side angle you have to make sure that you go slow and control the range of motion. You need not push completely high up because that would get your tricep involved. Keep the range of motion where your front delt is mostly loaded. So you just come down, feel the stretch, then push up as much 
as required and then come down back again. Now I have done two sets of these with 15 repetitions plus few pause reps wherein I have paused for a few seconds got another five repetitions paused again got another five repetition in that manner I have accumulated close to 35 to 40 repetitions in one set alone. So use this pause and rest technique to get as many repetitions out of your muscle as possible. Now since it could be quite demanding do take about 60 seconds break if required even a 90 second break in between. Make sure you control your range of motion, you control your push. Pushing it too high, absolutely straight is not necessary. But while coming down, control the range of motion. Try to slow down the eccentric motion of the exercise. I chose to stick with the same weight because I already was hitting fatigue with my shoulder muscles. So I did not feel the necessity to go extremely heavy. Post completing my overhead press, I moved on to dumbbell lateral races. Again, working on those front and mid delts. Now, I have opted for the similar way approach in terms of the sets and repetitions. Two sets, 15 repetitions plus few pause and rest repetitions wherein I accumulated 35 to 40 repetitions by pausing for a few seconds, doing another five, pausing again, doing another five. So the five seconds break will give you enough amount of energy replenishment so you can go for another five repetitions. And as you can see in the video, I'm not going extremely high. I'm just going enough to get my side delts activated. A slight leaning forward makes me feel my delts more activated. It might be the case with you. It might not be the case. Just try to optimize the dumbbell lateral races as much as possible because we don't want our upper traps doing the work we want our shoulder muscles only to do the work i also prefer to keep my wrist below the level of my elbow so my elbows are the ones which are leading the raises so i keep my wrist down like i'm pouring a jug of water down and then lead with my elbows keeping my delts in focus as you can see i opted the pause technique got as many repetitions as possible. Target is always 40 repetition mark in 5 I repetition intervals. Post completing my dumbbell lateral races, I moved on to my cable lateral races. Now for cable lateral races, it's a very simple approach. We do three sets, 10 repetitions, no rest because we are going one arm at a time. So as one arm is working, the other arm is resting. Make sure you never let the cable completely or uh, the cable does not have tension the bar should never touch down the cable is always under tension this would ensure a sufficient amount of stretch on your shoulder muscle even while you're not doing performing the race even during the downward pull so three sets 10 repetitions without any break keep going yes you would definitely start feeling an intense amount of burn in your lateral delts because thanks to the dumbbell lateral races which you have done or the overhead press which we have done previously before this exercise so you may prefer to take at least a minute or two of period of rest in between the exercises itself post completing those i moved on to my last superset wherein i started off with around the walls on an inclined bench again focusing mostly on my rear delts to get it more activated, more burning sensation, as much torture as possible. Now I've done 20 repetitions and post completing my around the world, immediately shifted on the same inclined bench setup and started doing my bus drivers. Now three sets, 20 repetitions with 45 to 60 seconds break in between. So be, should be sufficient to finish off our excellent shoulder workout. Ideally, we would start off doing our bicep workout post completing this. But as I mentioned, I did not have enough time. So I chose to just finish off my day with this particular exercise and chose to do the bicep exercise on the next day. Now for the bus drivers, again, the formula is simple. Make sure the plate or the uh, dumbbell which you're holding is at eye level and start rotating, getting 10 repetitions on each rotation. To finish off my workout, I'm going on to do my vertical hang as long as possible. An ideal way to finish off your shoulder workout because it completely decompresses our shoulder, stretches it out efficiently, 
while training our forearms, while making sure we have absolute control of our core because we don't want to be swinging while we are hanging down. So using our core to keep ourselves as straight as possible, decompressing our entire shoulder muscle and also stretching them while doing it. An efficient way to finish off our shoulder workout. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I'll be more consistent going forward since I'm now done with my holidays. So I'll see you in the next video where we'll push our bicep strength. Thank you and have a good day.